So today we're doing the PED rebuild. These are all players who have been suspended and tested positive for some sort of performance enhancing drug. No rumors, no allegation, and these are all current players that are still in the league today we're doing a three-year rebuild so we're going to take a team that consists of all these cheaters put them on a squad and then as the years go by we'll start making some trades free agent signings and see if we can win a world series with this starting roster of ped users and then by the end hopefully have a lot better roster because a lot of these players are aging so it's going to be tough for them to hold the rating and things like that so again guys these are all current players who have been suspended not allegate allegations or anything like that these are all suspended players so with that being said if you enjoy it make sure you hit the thumbs up down below subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content and as always in the comment section let me know future video ideas or rebuilds you would like to see social media are all in the description and that's about it guys let's hop into it let's take a look at this ped roster Alrighty, so let's take a look at this roster obviously there's all players who have been caught at some point for using performance enhancing drugs so we got frankie montas michael pineda irving santana stephen wright eric scogland and bartolo cologne we also have eric, alec asher i almost said eric asher but alec asher for relievers we have daniel stump henry mejia and then david paulino i think he's now of the blue jays maybe he's a a a free agent now but henry mejia daniel stump and then we have Colome and viscaino um another name we could have used was javi guerra but he's just not very well rated so i figured he really wouldn't help the team anyways yasmani grandal and wellington castillo are going to be our catchers first base we have g-man Choi. second base we have a couple options we have cano javis and d gordon so we got some speed we got all around type players we got some pop off the bat with chavis so that's kind of a good mix shortstop we got a couple decent ones with polanco and mondesi and then we also have freddie galvis in left field we have ryan braun center we have starling Marte, and then in right we have nelson cruz and melky cabrera so what we're gonna do is like i said a three-year rebuild and we're gonna start with this team the only trades we can make is with this team we can't dig into the miners at all we can only work with this team so if i want to make a trade i can't trade like casey Myers or anything or i can't trade any minor leaguers i can only trade players on the mlb roster we obviously can sign free agents and things like that because that's kind of the point of a rebuild so we're going to take some trades we're going to do some free agent signings see what happens i want to see how this team does though by itself so what we're going to do is we're going to do a one-year sim for this team and then the second and third season will start to make changes so let's get into it that's the roster i think we're going to do very very poorly but who knows all right so you can see the ro the record in the top corner like right right here it was kind of nice right 69 and 93 obviously not making the postseason or anything like that we'll take a look at standings really quick we finished second to last 69 93 19 games back we are the 25th ranked team in baseball so no league leaders no awards or anything like that looking at our rotation it looks pretty bad it looks it looks pretty bad nobody really did well um a 4 15 era was our best era as our as for our starters and then when we move into the bullpen mejia didn't do terribly um viscaina was okay and then Kalame was like our best pitcher that we had when we took a look at our lineups um you know it, and the, the the bench wasn't terrible we got Marte. polanco did well he's definitely a player i'm gonna want to try to keep nelson cruz did well maybe keep him around as a dh bat michael chavis is definitely looking pretty solid grandal cano is down so much and i'm hoping he decides to retire because then we'll be opening up some money ryan braun g-man Choi, and then mondesi so overall pretty lackluster on the offensive area besides these two um, i'm thinking chavis is a little too high rated just a little bit i might tone his attributes down a little bit but let's just simulate the first season that's a little sneak peek into the team it was pretty bad the team was very 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 bad so any retired players bartolo no he retires we have irving santana and then cano as well so we're gonna have to find new replacements for those guys but let's take a look at our exclusive negotiations really quick i think grandal is a catcher that we definitely want to keep around so let's just let's toss him a uh, not so big contract uh, whatever i guess we'll have to do a two-year contract for him this guy you know wasn't bad 
but I'm not too sure he's going to be good for too much longer. So we'll do that. Nelson Cruz, I'm not too sure about. So we might keep him around. And then I think the rest have to go. They really weren't good. They really weren't amazing. And I feel like none of those guys are really going to help us. So let's keep moving forward and see what we can do with a new kind of new members of the team. Um, arbitration wise, Steven Wright wasn't terrible like i'm looking at it a 390 era wasn't bad how did i miss that that's not bad at all um mejia wasn't terrible either so maybe bring these two back column back stump was pretty bad i'm not too sure i'll bring him back and then contracts wise we definitely want to bring back the mlb guys that we had so like Choi, mondesi montas and chavis those are really the only ones that matter and we'll take a quick look at free agency just to kind of see what we can do definitely want to try to bring in one of these two guys to help us out with pitching or maybe just kind of settle for some lower end guys just to at least upgrade the staff that we have. Um, bullpen's looking a little rough too. Um, maybe make a trade with some of the guys we have. See if we can get an upgrade there. First base, we have G-Man Choi. Hmm. Maybe stick it out with G-Man Choi. Second base, third base, and shortstop. I feel like we're good. We got a good mix of guys there. It's the outfield I definitely want to improve on. Marcelo Zuna would be a huge pickup for the team if we can find a way to get him in there. But that's kind of my thinking. Let's hop into season two. Let's see what we can do. And I'll show you the guys. I'll show you guys the roster in a sec. Alrighty, so D Gordon and Ryan Braun are gonna be traded to the Cardinals for Jose Martinez. It's not the flashiest of signings but he is really good in franchise and I feel like he's gonna help us out which means we can actually get Marcelo Zuna in left now hopefully he signs hopefully all right I'm doing another trade I don't think I've ever traded for him Patrick Corbin a lefty in the starting rotation we're gonna trade Alec Asher and Adalberto Mondesi I feel like he's kind of an unnecessary piece we have second base with Chavis and short with Polanco already covered so we might as well trade him see if we can get something for him and strengthen up that starting rotation all right so the second season we definitely made some moves in free agency you've obviously seen the trades as well but um I still think we could make a little bit better team with what we have so let's let's see the roster right now so the new additions obviously his uh his Jose Martinez, I almost said Jesus Martinez. Jose Martinez is a new addition. Um, Marcel Ozuna did sign a contract, which is great. So we got him for at least two years. Josh Donaldson, we brought in for one year to cover that gap that we now had because we traded away Mondesi. And then Jonathan Lucroy is gonna be fighting it out with Wellington Castillo for the catcher spot. Um, I might even start uh, Castillo. We still have G-Man Choi. We brought in Zobrist and we brought back Galvis just for some cover. Um, but I kind of like what we're working with here. This team looks really good. A lot of pop off the bat as well. So I feel like we're, we're looking pretty solid. Um, I don't see why we wouldn't have like a really good team assembled here so this is what we're looking like pitching rotation we've obviously added patrick corbin we brought in rick porcello for a season drew smiley for a year and then our bullpen was left untouched because i really didn't like the bullpen options so we're gonna take a look see if there's any that are available now there really aren't that are good like they're really bad any any players here that like we could pick up and then maybe like trade next year doesn't look like it either so i do think we could make some trades here because i think Marte's contract runs out no not his okay um we we got to figure out something because this is this section right here is just not good enough we definitely need to improve it you know what I, we do have a lot of aging players a lot of players whose contracts are like one year deals like cruz donaldson so maybe we just go with this and then at season three, we make those changes that really push us because I think this is a playoff team. Starting rotation's not bad. Offensively, we're really sound. It's just, can the bullpen close out games for us? Um, so let's just rock with this, see how it goes for season two. We made some trades, we made some you know, acquisitions and free agency. So let's see how it goes. All right, so as we kind of finish off the second season, you guys can already see what's going on with the record. And I was not expecting this at all. Like, this is crazy. 113 and 49. We were three wins off the MLB record for most wins in a season. We won the division, obviously taking on the winner of the wild card. We got a league leader, Starling Marte, with hits. No other stat, like league leaders or 
awards, but we won 113 games. We're ranked 22nd, 22nd, and yet we just destroyed the the majors we just ran away with the best record in baseball we're first in contact eighth in power everything else is super low what happened let's take a look at our bench ben zobris did well luke Roy did pretty solid g-man Choi had himself a season and then we had freddie galvis when we take a look at our starters starling Marte had a phenomenal year this was a player i thought about trading i'm glad that we didn't jorge polanco did very well osuna very very good year michael chavis is doing great josh donaldson Jose Abreu, Wellington Castillo, Nelson Cruz still did well, even at the overall of 74 and Jose Martinez. So offensively, like I said, this team looks really, 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 really good. So let's take a look at this pitching rotation and see how things went. Patrick Corbin looks like a great addition to the squad. Frankie Montas still struggling a bit, but look, it's okay. Porcello did well. Smiley. And Steven Wright was our worst pitcher, but these two guys look like a pretty good one-year signing for us. I think Smiley was actually one year with a, a club option, so we could bring him back for one more year if we wanted to. Skogland was unreal. Great long reliever. Mejia struggled. Paulino didn't do too bad, actually. Um, Stump was okay. Vizcaino did well. And then Kalame was lights out. So I'm, I'm surprised that happened. Like, unreal stuff. Who would have thought that was going to happen? Not me. Not me at all. So let's take on the Yankees. See how things go. And all right. Game five elimination game. Can we get past this wild card team? This Yankees. So we're going to go Patrick Corbin, even though he got the loss day one. And let's see how things go. They have Simmons, George Springer added to this lineup. That's nuts. That's a solid team right there. Marcelo Zuna gets us on the board early which is good. If we can just hold out now, maybe add a couple more insurance runs, I'll be pretty happy with the way things are going. So to move on to the next round of the playoffs, can we do it? Tie ball game. Come on, we got we got to get some more runs. We can't let that really strong offense just go cold in the postseason. That's just, why has it got to be like that? So Corbin's doing well, probably his last inning though. And uh, first and second, no outs. Can we bring them in? We can't. All right, so he's definitely done. I was going to see if maybe we could get one more out of him, and we can't. So Paulino gets out. All right, perfect. So there's the walk, a fly out, a strikeout. And it's just the team's looking a little, little quiet after that first run in the first inning. So come on, guys. Like, we got the bats. There's no reason why we shouldn't be able to do something here. All right. Probably sh like I understand I probably shouldn't have let Paulino go for that inning But he was doing really well and that was a two run out right or two a two out run Right there and it all comes down to this facing a role this Chapman. That's a good start I like that a strikeout a pop-up and we've been eliminated So the guy who said you always face the Yankees and lose there you go He proved me right there, but uh, we would have had to face the Dodgers anyways if you're looking at the National League situation so um i feel like it, it, it would have been a tough situation no matter what so season two we almost broke a record for most wins in a season who would have thought let's get into this offseason see what we can do to improve this team the pi the pirates the pirates defeat the athletics unreal uh, but let's just keep moving forward see what we can do here no one retired and uh looking at exclusive negotiations we definitely want to bring back column a um I feel like Josh Donaldson for another year isn't a bad idea. A Rodis Vizcaino is not bad either. We definitely Porcello for another year. Um, I'm probably gonna let. How did Castillo do? He was okay. Um, probably gonna let like these bottom six go and see what we can find. But like these top guys, not bad pickups. So I'm gonna do that. Um. Arbitration and contracts are all going to be the same. I'll see you guys at the start of season three, unless we make any trades. All right. So I had a, a crazy amount of money to play with, especially after some of those deals that we had ended. And I just barely got in budget for this team. And I feel like we should win a world series. This team is nuts. So let's take a look at our budget. We're sitting at 807 left, which is actually quite a bit still. Um, so let's actually look at the pitching rotation first because we made we made a couple moves. So we're gonna move Kalame here. We're gonna move this this no 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 no. We're gonna swap these two. And this is what our our bullpen is gonna look like. We brought in Kayla. Everybody else just didn't look too interesting. 
There was one pitcher that I wanted that I just didn't get, unfortunately. Um, I think it was Rondon. But I feel like with the way our bullpen did last year, I feel like we should be okay. James Paxton is a new arm for our, um, our starting rotation. And then we'll just kind of rock like this. So we got Corbin, Paxton, Montas, Porcello, and Smiley. And then when we look at the lineup, we have some new additions. Mookie Betts. We were able to bring in Mookie Betts. We have Chavis, Ozuna. Jose Martinez is going to be our DH now. Josh Donaldson was brought back for another year just because of the power bat. Carlos Santana is a switch hitting first baseman. We needed a, like a lefty option in the in the lineup, so I figured that would kind of work. Um, we brought in Justin Turner, who was available um, when we started this season. H Omar Murillo looks really good. That vision, that contact, even a decent fielder as well with speed. He actually looks like a really good player, and he was available in free agency. We signed him up to a one-year deal. Looks pretty good. And then we have G-Man Choi and James McCann as a catching option. So overall, the team looks really solid. Um, roster history-wise, you guys can see how everybody was added free agency um i signed he doesn't show here i signed a, a reliever and then i noticed that we didn't really need an extra one so i ended up releasing him um he might actually be on waivers or something it was uh joe let's see if he's on the waiver wire he's not oh yeah he was there he is it was joe smith that's what we i signed him and i realized we didn't need him um, so I was like, you know what? Let's just release them. And then that's the team. I mean, the team looks stacked. The team looks scary good. Who would have thought a bunch of PED users would lead us to this team? Uh, we still have Marte, Polanco, Chavis. Um, that's about it, right? Uh, G-Man. That's really about it for our offense. When we look at the rotation, we got Montas, Skogland, Mejia Stump, Paulino, Vizcaino, and Colome. So the bullpen's actually pretty um like og squad that we had so let's see how this this goes i feel like we've got a pretty solid team now 10th overall compared to what 22nd last year so let's see how it goes see you guys at the end of the year all right so season three is wrapping up and it's not as good as last year you guys can kind of see the record but it still was really really good 107 and 55 won the division and again we're taking on the wild card winner so who would have thought that this team would have been this good and we got gold gloves that was our uh that, that was our award so mvps for the al trout trout and garrett cole and national league was trevor story cody bellinger and au henio we got degrom kershaw kershaw chris hale chris hale and then garrett cole so okay interesting i was gonna sign george springer because he was available in free agency instead i went with mookie Betts, and he still looked like he had a really good year so i'm not i'm not too upset with that so let's take a look at our pitching rotation see how things went corbin was pretty solid not as good as last year but you know what i'm not upset with those numbers at all james paxton was good frankie montas had a really good season porcello struggled a bit but drew smiley was solid so porcello is going to be our five but everybody else was under four for an era i'm really happy with the way that looks um when we look at no no um where is he who who did they call up this guy where's my Skoglin. why did you do that all right how did Skoglin do because they sent him down he had a 550 era 73 innings pitched all right that's unfortunate henry mejia stump who else why is casey mize up what is going on with this team they sent down column a why i have everything on manual everything is good they didn't ask me to change any rosters throughout the year that is annoying um stump did well paulino viscaino kayla and then column a. i understand he was struggling but why are we kicking him from the squad um so, I mean, he still had 44 saves, 9 blown saves. The ERA is a little high, whip's a little high, but what the heck? Why are we doing this? Did he even pitch? He pitched one in a third inning. All right, cool. I'm so glad you can call him up for that one in one third inning. Uh, lineups wise, looking at our bench, Justin Turner's dropped, but he wasn't terrible. Mario didn't do too bad. And then they called someone up that isn't meant to be called up. So we're going to remove him. 
who did they send down is what I want to know. Uh, G-Man Choi. You can't send down G-Man Choi. He's, he's like the, the good luck charm. You can't send him down. So let's take a look, see how G-Man Choi was doing. He was doing okay. Uh, Starling Marte did well. Polanco did well. We got Mookie Betts who did solid. Uh, Chavis, Osuna, Martinez. I mean, everyone's hitting bombs. Luke Roy was the least amount of home runs. Everybody hit over 20 home runs. Everybody hit over 20 home runs besides Luke Roy. That is insane. Holy cow, that's a lot of home runs. And then when you look at RBIs, everyone's up there as well. Everyone's over 70 besides Luke Roy. That is a scary good offense. Jeez. So again, we're taking on the wild card winner. We're taking on the Blue Jays. All right. And then we blew right by them. So sorry, Blue Jays. That is unfortunate. Uh, we're going to move our starting rotation and stuff around. It looks like things went pretty well. Let's just keep going forward. See how this goes against the Athletics now. And we're one game away from advancing and we're in the World Series taking on the Dodgers. Everything's lined up. Paxton versus Bueller. We lose the first one. Oof. Uh, the second one we lose as well and we win the third and we're facing elimination here in the World Series. So let's see if we can get this win. We're on the road, Dodger Stadium. We're gonna go with Corbin. Team's looking a little tired. We might change a couple things. Uh, we may let Luke Roy hit. And then, Jose Martinez in center? No. Why is my Why are my lineups all messed up? Everything's on manual. I set all the lineups before the season started. I made sure all the lineups were good and then they went and ruined them. What is going on? So we'll take a look at the Dodgers lineup next time. Uh, looks the same. Looks like nothing's really changed. They took Grandal for us from us after that first year, which was really annoying. That was the catcher that we lost. That was really annoying. Um, but so far, we've been doing really well on offense. Josh Donaldson gives us a two-run lead. Things are looking nice. So let's keep it going. Let's keep applying some pressure. Let's get some wins because I don't want to lose. Um, two nothing. Seventh inning. Corbin still looking really good. Um, they took out Kershaw, so maybe we get another run. As I say that, we do get another run, and it is a 3 nothing, 3-1 to one ball game. We're going to take out um, Corbin. We're just going to go lefty-lefty. Perfect. And heading into the ninth, we're going to go to our closer. Um, we're going to pinch hit here. Uh, righty, so let's go G-Man Choi. Bases loaded. Sack fly. I'll take that. We at least got that, that run back, and we're going to go to Kayla. Wins us the game. Perfect. That's what I'm talking about. And then we're going to have Paxton taking on Bueller, I'm assuming. Yeah, Paxton Bueller. So our lineup's good here. So nothing's changed there. Everything else is where it needs to be. A good one, two, three inning. Another good one, two, three inning. Can we get a run here? No, we can't. That's unfortunate. And we just got to keep moving forward, see if we get this run in. We don't. And, uh, we're getting some hits. We're getting runners in scoring position. It's just like we can't deliver when we need to. So it's a pretty quiet game so far. First and second, one out, double play. That hurts. Man, that is a bummer. That is a huge bummer. All right. We have six hits. Nothing to show for it. Oh, man. Just straight to the heart there, right? Error? Oh, this is where it all all crumbles, doesn't it? This is where it all crumbles, doesn't it? Oh, man. What? What? Oh, we got a playoff MVP. Uh, Jose Martinez did really well, actually. 4 of 8 average, 4 home runs, 13 RBIs. We'll take a look at our, our lineup, see how things went. First two guys struggled a bit, um, but for the most part, everybody else did really well. Uh, okay, maybe not so much Luke Roy. Um, Pitching-wise, I felt like... what? I, okay, Drew Smiley struggled a bit, but for the, the starters did well. Skoglin, not so much. These two, not so much. Paulino, meh. Um, so yeah, it's looking like, you know, the bullpen, a little sketchy. Offense looked pretty solid, but the team, the thing started out with like 
a really bad team. We were way under 500. I think we won 69 games. And now we won 113 the second year. We went to the World Series the third. And unfortunately, we just couldn't clutch it out. That's just how things go sometimes. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content. Turn on bell notifications so you're notified whenever a video does go live. And other than that, guys, in the comment section, let me know what you would like to see for future videos. Other than that, guys, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.